Hey guys, Pipe Squatch here. I'm doing my first VR to Bearded Bristol. And I've got a gravel road, so this might be a little bumpy for a second. Hold on. Is that good? Oh, I got, I got mail. I got a pit in there. Hold on. No, I didn't. No pipes. Smoking my Peterson system pipe. It's the 3013. And I've got a little McClellan's black shag in there. First time I've tried it, it's really good. It's an English and it's, it's just not a really rich English. And sometimes I don't like those as much, but uh, because I like the richness, the smokiness. But this is really good. Bearded Bristol wanted us to tell a story, Norman Rockwell-like, about our childhood. And in my childhood, I moved around a lot, not because I was a military brat, but my dad was a catering director for different colleges. He was in the military as well, but that was before I was born. <clears throat> And I had a lot of cool places that we lived. Uh, one of the things I enjoyed with my dad being the catering director at these colleges, back in the old days when you can have bars in college, I, I don't know if you can even do that anymore. But uh, there was a place when he worked at Tulane down in New Orleans. <clears throat> we lived down in New Orleans for a year and a half. And uh, there was a, a place called the Rat Skeller, and it was a bar within Tulane. And he would work that in the evenings and I'd get off school and go over there with him. And it was so cool. And this kind of goes to my, my geeky side, my nerd side. Uh, Star Wars had a video game that came out and it was just white lines, but you sat in a booth. And that was like the coolest thing ever when it first came out. And they had it there. And so I would sit in that game for hours on end playing it and it, you flew around and it, you could kind of tell you're in a x-wing fighter but nah, not really compared to today's games my kids would laugh at it i don't know though the old stuff's coming back in that nintendo came out and it was huge people were way overpaying for it too so that was the new orleans experience but some of my favorite ones were in uh he worked at the university of the south in Suwannee, Tennessee. I don't know if you've ever been to Suwannee, Tennessee. If you haven't, go there and check out the University of South. They call it the Ivy League of the South or the Harvard of the South or Oxford. I don't know, something like that in the South, but it's gorgeous. Old, huge Episcopal College, old big rock buildings. Uh, and it was really relaxed up there and I could go all over the town with no problem. One of my favorite memories with my father to the Norman Rockwell side was we built a basketball goal on a little concrete pad behind our house and we built it out of two telephone poles <clears throat> actually a telephone pole we cut in half and it went up each side of the goal and we built the whole thing out of wood uh, except for the rim of course we bought a rim It'd be weird to have a wood rim did that that was really cool some of the fondest memories with him up there was working on that uh, another cool thing is I'm a huge comic book geek as you've seen in some of my videos, I've got the little comic book characters behind me. This thing's shaking a lot, isn't it? So much for image stabilization. But when we were in Suwannee, there was a college bookstore there, and they had a rack of all the comics. So I would go in there, even though I knew it didn't. they didn't come out for, I think it was monthly comics came out. This was fifth and sixth grade. I would go in every day just to see what new ones came out. And I would get them, and I would read them front to back, and then I couldn't wait till the next one. Uh, which was awesome. The past few years, with all the comic book movies coming out, they've been amazing. Well, almost all of them. Batman versus Superman. I mean, really? All of a sudden, hey, we're buddies now. I wanted to kill you, but not anymore, because your mom's named Martha, too. Really hard to drive and, and video, too. Another one that just blew chunks 
the X-Men movies were outstanding until Apocalypse. And that's another one. Hey, Magneto, you killed billions of people around the world. Oh, but you helped us rebuild our house, so have a good life. See ya. And that, that was the cap on it all. There was lots of parts in that movie that were just garbage. Anyways, childhood memories. When in 91, my favorite comic book character came out. Of course, by that time, I was a freshman in college. I mean, it's not college. Freshman in high school. And it was, I was starting to be into sports and... I was kind of this closeted geek. I was I was the sports guy, the athlete that wanted to be a nerd and wanted to be a geek. But when you shoot up to six seven, it's kind of like, hey, you're playing basketball. Don't get me wrong, I love basketball, I love sports, but I love my my geeky side too. All my sci-fi movies, all my TV shows. They need to bring Firefly back, by the way. Is it shaking again? So in 91, my favorite character came out, Deadpool. Well, if you've seen the movie, the comics were not far off. The comics may have been a little raunchier. Some of them, not, not initially when he first came out in New Mutants. But when his comics started coming out and he was in all these other comic characters, I would actually kind of have to hide those under my bed with other magazines that may have been under the mattress. I'll just say that and we'll go from there. This will not stay lit. So those are just a few memories of mine. Growing up, being a kid, both in New Orleans. Didn't get give any really a whole lot of Texas memories. I've got a ton of those, but you know, when I think of fondest memories and I think back to stuff that I remember from a young kid, those are some of the ones that I do. Mm. Go ahead and throw a Texas one in there to wrap it up. Tubing the Guadalupe River. If any of you live in Texas, Go down around the New Braunfels area to the Schlitterbahn area. You can tube, rent an inner tube at one place. They drive you up on a bus. You tube all the way down. You can rent a cooler, have beer and everything. Of course, as a kid, I didn't have beer. I was a young kid. And it was awesome. It was a blast. I've gone back a few times as an adult, got the beer, and it's even better. <laughs> so that's one of my best Texas memories. Uh, Along with my grandfather down there, and I, 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 I could do a whole video on my grandfather. So, Barry Bristol, there is my VR to you. You're an amazing artist. I will be fortunate if I won the drawing. Um, if I don't, congrats to whoever gets it. And uh, if you haven't seen it yet, go over to his channel and see what his giveaway is. He's, he's an artist. He's going to do a sketch of whatever your profile picture is for you. Uh, and uh, that's going to be pretty cool. So, my first VR. Interesting. It's uh, kind of fun. Hopefully the little uh, editing guy didn't make too many comments about me. Keep your bugs loaded. Keep them lit too. Slow down, philosophize, and enjoy your life.